Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I had a wonderful day today. My son and grandson came over to visit us. They are now gone. We had a nice lunch and uh, we played games, table games, watched TV, uh, looked at all my little miniatures that are behind me. You can see them here behind me, the two shelves. You might be able to also hear my 3D printer going through its spaces. And so what I want to talk about though is what you really need to do to get the most out of your Pro 1000. I've discussed this until the cows come home and it still does not seem to reach people, uh, you know, the way it should. Let me just say this. Last night, I printed just a nozzle check and then one of those Q image on clock tool, special types of perch images and I set it for matte media so that I could use the matte black ink. I also printed one with the regular glossy paper choice and that triggers the photo black ink, which is the glossy black ink. And that's all you have to do. If you have nothing to print, print one of those every day, whether it's at night morning, noon, afternoon, it doesn't matter. Just print that image and it could be just half a page every single day. And you will not be greeted by that lengthy cleaning cycle that will waste more ink, several times more ink than you will actually use to create your print. Now, I have not touched my printer all day. Last night I printed, like I said, and also check. So let's go ahead and revive it. We're going to hit maintenance. I have some regular copy paper loaded. Print and also check pattern. Yes. And we'll see. Is it going to begin to do an agitation cycle, followed by a cleaning cycle, followed by a nozzle check, and all of that? Right now it is checking the internal parameters for the head travel. It has to do that. Once that passes, so you can see the paper's already advancing, folks. You see what I'm getting at? The ink that I'm going to use will be used to create that nozzle check, not to clean my print head unnecessarily and then dump that ink into my MC20 cartridge, which is the waste ink cartridge. It's, it's, just, it's just, to me, something I just don't understand why you would want to put this printer to such a wasteful use. Okay, don't get mad at me, but this is the way this printer works, okay? It's already printing the nozzle check. What did that take? A few seconds. And here it is. And I look at it, it is perfect. Every single square is represented. Now I'm going to go ahead and print a real photograph, a five by seven. I have Q image open. I have some glossy two Canon paper here. I'm going to load it and then I'm going to go click on print on Q image. You might be able to hear the little ding dong that it makes when it's done loading the image or the file to the printer. What you hear now is the perch pad being drained, making sure it is drained so that the next job you don't get as much on your print. So it's asking me, were all of the little lines correct or not? A or B. So A and OK and back home. So let's go ahead and load this. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so like I said, I am using Pro 1000, you choose that, you choose the paper, Canon Glossy 2, and then 5x7, and then go to your profile section and ask it to suggest the profile, it will pick the correct profile for you, automatically for you, 
It will be listed on the top more than likely unless there are other very similarly named profiles. There's already loaded and it's going to begin printing. You see what I mean? So you'll have the correct profile loaded and the best part is that the driver for this printer, because I am letting Q image control color through that ICC profile for that Canon paper, it'll disable color matching. It'll be set to none. And that is automatically done for you. The days of double profiling when it comes to Q image ultimate are gone. I cannot even fool it into at least allowing me to double profile if I really wanted to do that. It's just impossible to do this day and age. All right, so we'll just sit here and wait for it to come out. It's a shot of that uh, warrior princess girl with the big, yeah, you will love this. She's a flaming redhead, probably Irish, I hope. And uh, yeah, I would not want to mess with her if you get my drift. She might cut my arm off. Here it comes. Now be aware that in the present condition that QImage Ultimate operates, it is defaulted to always defaulted to the highest quality setting that your printer can offer for a particular type of paper. And those levels of quality will differ between a glossy paper and say some matte type paper. Usually matte papers have a greater degree of dot gain and you don't want to mush up those little droplets of ink. You want to keep them separated, even though it'll be at the microscopic level. You do not want to mix them together. In other words, blend them together. That would not be good for your image quality on your paper. So what happens is it will then choose a slightly lower quality as a default. One thing that I have to tell you, this paper was a little bit curled. It's a rather thick type paper. It was a little bit curled and I got a little bit of a smudge on my corner here. I can just see that right, right away. Hey, my fault. And there she is. Check that sword. Wonderful, so there we go. So we also picked full application of Chrome Optimizer so that the whole image would have a nice printed image that is would have a nice even gloss. This is a rather glossy paper. In fact, it's so glossy it is almost glaring. And so yeah, that's what you need to do. If you do not choose full, then areas that might not have ink applied to them, in other words, areas that would be considered 255, 255, 255, do not get ink and do not receive Chroma Optimizer. And you will have a gloss differential problem because often the gloss qualities or characteristics of the paper base alone may be different than what that paper will look like once ink is applied. So areas that are dark will receive that photo black ink and that photo black ink is very glossy. Areas that are just pure white will just have the paper base, no ink applied, and they'll probably look a little bit duller. So in order to even that out, apply a full application of Chroma Optimizer. You can set that in your driver and there we go she is gorgeous and deadly all right thank you so much don't forget to subscribe share and like and until the next time as always happy printing and print on this printer daily i have not wasted a single milliliter of ink used for cleaning in the last several days because i've been printing something every day and it just prints it immediately all right, that is it for now. Bye-bye, everybody.